a story about the rooster named Hipster and the girl named Serena. Hipster is the most handsome, the strongest, and the most adventurous rooster in the farm. But sometimes uh, he get cocky sometimes during rice and corn harvest season. So Serena warned him not to wander to the fields and steal or eat grains. But because he thinks he's very intelligent, so and he knows what he's doing, so he doesn't pay attention to Serena. So one day he was wandering in the fields, and he got almost caught by the farmer. This book is also written especially because nowadays uh, there's so many missing children. Okay, missing children, every day you hear in the news missing children. So I would like to uh, tell the kids that you have to listen to your parents and to somebody that is taking care of you because otherwise you will end up like hipster and bastard. When did you first consider yourself as a writer? When did I consider myself as a writer? Okay, um, I have written numerous children's books and picture books, but when I wrote this hipster, The Adventurous Rooster, I considered myself as a writer. Nowadays, if you write a good book, you don't have to wait for the traditional publisher to publish you. You can publish, you can be your own publisher, and you can go to the internet, and you can publish it through print on demand, or you can market it on your own. What inspired you to write your first book? What inspired me to write my first book, and my books, I should say, is because I like to help uh, little children in my hometown in the Philippines, and hopefully to all the little children of the world. In my elementary and my intermediate grades, we don't have a library at school. And our hometown doesn't have a library either. So that inspired me to write my first book and my books because a portion of the proceeds of my books and a portion of the sales of www.sarinasworld.com will go to my foundation, the Edna Casinas Foundation. And uh, the purpose of my foundation is to build schools, libraries, and computer center starting from my hometown in the Philippines for the children and of course the community to improve literacy and education. They need a place, a library where it is technologically well advanced and well equipped and also to have access to up-to-date books and reading materials for language growth, improve reading comprehension and academic achievement. What are your current projects? Current projects. I have so many projects going on right now. Uh, first of all, um, this Hipster the Adventurous Rooster, aside from hard copy, this will also be converted into ebooks. So you will see my ebooks in Amazon and eBay in the future. And also, this will be converted into an animated DVD. Okay, so that's one project of mine. And also, um, the www.sarinasworld.com. Uh, I'm gonna merchandise my books. I will create um, children's jewelry line because I'm also in the fashion jewelry. And then I'm gonna create a clothing line for children. And I will start with t-shirts. And the design in the t-shirts will be from the illustration of my book. Do you see writing as a career? As a career, I don't know if I would call it a career because at this point in my life, I think I'm already retired, but I would also like to help the little children of the world uh, starting from my hometown in the Philippines and hopefully all over the country in the Philippines. So I'm writing, I'm seriously writing so that uh, part of the proceeds of my book will go to the foundation so writing and helping children. So I don't know if you would call that as a career. Who designed the covers? Who designed the covers? That's another good question. Actually, um, when I went to the Philippines in 2007, I asked my brother and my uh, youngest daughter if they know somebody who knows how to draw. 
And then one day my daughter came home and he said, Mom, there's a kid on the block, you know, like 14, 15 year old kid, a boy uh, that who can draw very well. I said, okay, tell him to come over and meet with me. So the boy came with a pencil and watercolor, very cheap watercolor. So I said, oh, my daughter told me you can draw. So I started giving him like a subject to draw like, okay, can you draw like a girl with a rooster? Sure. So I was drawing and then coloring. And I was so impressed, mm -hmm. very impressed. This book is, this is the only book that is done in freehand. My other books is done on computer. You know, nowadays it's all computer. So this boy did it on freehand. This boy, I mean, not this boy, uh, the boy did this uh, illustration on freehand with just uh, pencil and watercolor, and it came out very, very nice, very talented. Tell us about your upcoming books. Okay. Uh, I cannot tell everything because they are still printing and being edited. But my next book that will be released is Baby Serena. In fact, at the end of this book, it says my upcoming books over here, uh, Baby Serena and Serena's Prayers. Actually, Baby Serena is the first manuscript or the first book that I have written. But uh, I printed, I published Hipster the Adventurous Rooster first because I intend to illust uh, translate this book into five languages. My other books were written in um, narrative rhymes, narrative poetry, so if you translate that, uh, it will offset you know, the, the rhymes. So I printed this first because I want to translate this in five languages. What was your career before you became a writer? Oh, okay. Actually, I have a degree in industrial management engineering. Actually, it's industrial engineering but my specialty is management and systems improvement. And uh, when I came to the United States, I work as an engineer off and on, off and on, because I think I don't have the employee mentality. Uh, when I work like two years, three years, nah, I want to have my own business. So I was working as an engineer off and on, and then I started my business off and on also. So now, I am 100% uh, businesswoman. Okay. I have my uh, fashion jewelry business, and then I'm starting my writing seriously. Well, how, how did you, you go from being a writer to all of a sudden you're involved in all these different aspects of, of the book in publishing and electronics? And, and, and how did that all grow so much? Did, you, did somebody mentor you? Did somebody no, no. embrace you and say, here, the world is yours? Oh, no. Um, <laughs> no, not really. I mean, I quit my job um, two or three years ago, and then I went full time with my exotic fashion jewelries. But before that, I've been writing already. Like, I didn't really write, like, sit down, sit down and write, like, like real authors, like, Grissom or whatever. That's all they do. I don't know, but yes. But me, I write here and there, a little bit here and there. I do my business a little bit and here and there. But now that I'm serious with writing and my foundation, so I think I would stick to writing. I published my books before, two of my books, right. this one and Baby Serena also, but that was on a print on demand. Right, right. Yeah, but now I uh, print my own books, I'm my own publisher, I market my own books. Okay. So now with the help of the internet and the social media, I hope I will sell a lot of books. Great, <laughs> wonderful. Well, thank you for coming here today. Thank you, Steve. Uh, right. It's my pleasure to be here. Okay.